like sands through the hourglass. So are the days of our lives. Did she say anything to you? And you know what happened on the terrace with Carly? No, she is very weak, sir. She spoke very little. This just doesn't make any sense. My aunt falling off the terrace railing. Vivian, tell me what happened tonight. Vivian, can you hear me? Tell me what happened. I know we've had our differences lately. Despite everything, I love you so very much, Vivian. I will always love you, no matter what. Um, that means so, so much. You have to have an operation. Uh. It's very serious, Vivian. It's a very difficult surgery, and it could... It could be very dangerous, but, but you have no other choice. I know you're afraid. I am too. But you're a survivor, Vivian. And you're going to pull through this. You have to. And not just for my sake, but for Nikki's sake. Nikki. Leah loves you so very much. And he needs you so very much, Vivian. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go and talk to the doctors right now, but I'll be back uh, in time before they take you into the surgery, all right? Mm. You will get through this. Doctor? Eva. Eva. My... My plan... to find Carly for my death. Madame, if... let's... Let's not talk about it now. You will need all your strength. What? For what? For what? I'm gonna die anyway. When I can't be for nothing, I, I want, I want to call you dead. And it's up to you to make sure that happens. Eva. You okay? Yeah, I'm just waiting for the thing to stabilize before I can operate. Hey. All right, Carly. Hey. I'm gonna go check in on Marlena, but I'll be back before Abe gets here to take your statement. Okay? Yeah. I thought you. I, I thought you already gave your statement to the police about Vivian. It's not about Vivian. It's about Cash. It's all over. It's over. Yeah, I've got the proof I need to clear my name. <laughs> That's great, baby. Uh, 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 um. What happened to here? I'll explain it. Just hold me right now, okay? Please. I still can't believe Taylor betrayed you. God, baby, I could have lost you tonight. It's been a hell of a night for the both of us. Me with Taylor, you with Vivian. When I walked onto that terrace, I couldn't tell what the hell was going on, Carly. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Vivian was acting irrational, but I wasn't acting too rational myself, you know? Oh, come on, Carly. No, I, I was shouting at her, but I couldn't stop. Vivian has done an awful lot to antagonize you. Yeah, I never you. let her get to me before. I mean, this was really strange. It was like I was disconnected from reality somehow, you know? And all the words that were coming out of my mouth, it was like it wasn't me. Uh, are you feeling okay now? Yeah, I feel better, but... You know what? I bet you it's that pain medication I'm taking. I'm not taking any more of that. Are I you going to be that. able to do this surgery? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Look, I have to meet the other surgeons in radiology. Okay. I'll wait here. I'm happy you got your name cleared, finally. Yes. Let's just get on with the rest of our lives, okay? Yeah.
I just saw Vivian. Yeah, was she conscious? Just barely. I understand you're the best at this type of cardiac surgery. Oh, um, look, if you want to find someone else to do this, I'll understand, especially after what happened to me. No, 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 time's running out. She has so many injuries and so many complications, I'm afraid if we wait much longer, it'll be too late. I want you to do the surgery. And not just because you're the best qualified, but because you have a vital interest in saving Vivian's life. No matter what you feel about her personally, you know what it will do to Nikki if Vivian dies. I know you'll do your best to save her for our son. Have you spoken to him? I called him at the Brady's to say goodnight, but uh, I didn't say anything about Vivian. I, I thought we could wait till morning. Tell him. Of course. He will need the support of both his mother and his father. Look, uh, there's a very slim chance she's going to make it through this surgery. I want you to be prepared for that. Karen, Vivian will live. She will live, and Nikki will know that his mother saved his Aunt Viv's life. this operation. My son may never forgive me. Vivian's being prepped now. All right. I should consult the anesthesiologist then. Carly, before you do, I know you and Vivian were arguing earlier at the party. Uh, th that's not going to affect my performance in the operating room, Dr. Horton, if that's what you're worried about. You weren't yourself tonight. I know. I know. Um, I was telling Bo I think it's that pain medication I've been on for my knee, but I'm, I'm all right now. As long as you're sure. Yes. I'm sure that Carly will perform brilliantly in the operating room, Dr. Horton. I have no doubt whatsoever. All right, let's go. That's it. That's all Taylor said before she died. But it was enough to convince you that it was a setup, right? And to convince you that Bo was not the person who beat up Cash. Well, as far as I'm concerned, we have enough proof to close this investigation and to get you reinstated. I've been waiting to hear that for a long time. I'm going to take this over to Internal Affairs right away. Who would go through such an elaborate scheme to destroy you? There's only one person I know who fits that description. I know what you're thinking, but we don't have any proof it's Lawrence. Come on, Roman. It had to be Lawrence. Remember the Lizanne Gardner investigation? He was ahead of us every step of the way. Carly told me later he had a source downtown. It had to be Taylor. Abe, hey, think about it. Every time we'd get really close to nailing Lawrence, the evidence would disappear. We cannot accuse Lawrence without some very solid evidence. Then I will get you the evidence. I wonder what they're discussing in there. I am wondering that myself, sir. Yvonne, I have to go take care of something. If anyone asks, I'm going to get a bite to eat. I'll be back soon. I just wanted to see you one more time before I scrubbed up. Yeah. Listen, you'll do terrific in that surgery, okay? It's gonna take a while. It's okay. Mm -hmm. We'll wait. Carly is going to need you when she's through with that surgery. So why don't you just take her on home and you're gonna stay out of this until you're reinstated. Ah, we'll check out her apartment. Do me a favor, let me know what you find. Right? If we find anything, yeah, you will, you will. Ivan, where's Larry? Mr. Elamain went to get something to eat, sir. Went to get something to eat while his aunt's in surgery? I don't think so. You don't really expect me to believe that, do you, Ivan? The anesthesia should be taking effect any minute. Don't worry, I'll take good care of you. Stay here. You sure we have four units of whole blood? Go. 
Charlie, shh. Give into the medication, Vivian. Okay, we're ready. Carl, are you okay? Yeah, uh, Vivian's holding her own so far. Were you able to repair the damage the fractured rib caused to the heart? Yeah, and Dr. Vega's doing the spinal surgery now. So where chances are good? Uh, I almost lost her twice, but I got lucky. I hope he's as lucky. I'll go check, see how it's going. Yeah. Well, I, I hope she really pulls through this, you well, know? If she does pull through this, it's because of you. I know how hard this was for you. That was the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. But I had to, you know? Yeah. For Nikki. And for Vivian. As crazy as it sounds, it's my job to save lives, you know? No matter who it is. Nikki will know that. And he'll also be real proud of his mother. I'm so glad you're back. <laughs> so am I. Have you seen Lawrence? Yeah, he's, um, out getting something to eat. While Vivian was in surgery? That's what my question was. Look, I don't want to talk about him. Come on. Well, I just thought I should give him a report or something. Obviously, he doesn't care that much. Otherwise, he'd be here. Well, somebody else tell him. Bad times are behind us, Carly. It's just the good times ahead. From now on. What's wrong? Nothing. After being away so long and living at Lawrence's, everything is finally right again. I didn't like being away from you. Yeah, I didn't like it either. I didn't like going to sleep every night without having you in my arms and wondering when I was going to see you again. Mm. It's a couple more inches to the left, that bullet would have pierced your skull, but oh, why didn't you tell me it was so dangerous? Look, I didn't know, all right? And if I had known, if I told you, it would have only worried you. Yeah, but I had a premonition that something okay, awful was okay, going to okay, happen okay. to you. Okay, okay, so next time I will listen to your premonition. Don't choke. It's okay now. Sit, please. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I don't feel right about what happened with Taylor. I mean, I'm the one who told you to go to her for help, and if you'd done that, if you'd listened to me, you would have been but in worse okay. danger. I didn't know anything about it, and if I didn't know, how would you have known? You trusted her almost as much as you trust me, Bob. Yeah. So who could have turned her against you? I don't know. I don't want to think about it. That part of my life is over, okay? Look, I just never want to lose you. I, I couldn't deal with that. You okay? Just called the hospital. How's Vivian? Oh, she's hanging on. Well, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, no, yeah, I just... I don't know. I feel confused about all this. Her, be her behavior was bizarre. Carly, why don't you forget about Vivian for this evening? Yeah. Yeah. I just... Um, I have this bad feeling. About Vivian, about her really being on the edge and a lot of other... Carly, sit so. I really think you should stop worrying about Vivian. This is the first night I have you back. And I would really prefer not to share it with anybody else. Mm -hmm. You got me. <laughs> and I'm not going to let you go all evening long. You know, I'm going to check with the nurse. Madame, this madness has to stop. I'm not gonna let you go through with it any longer. It has to end. It will never end.